Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is John. I'm a full-time eBay reseller based in Melbourne, Australia. Per the title, it's true. I told somebody to give eBay a break. Or quit it altogether, actually. And it was somebody who was transitioning from a job and they saw what I was doing and they had space in their home to store inventory. Uh, they saw the amount of money I was making. They saw that it wasn't just a hobby. They saw that it could actually pay for things in the family. Um, they also saw my wife's support and they thought, hey, I have a family. I want to provide for my family. And so maybe this could be something that I enjoy more than working a job. And so this person made the transition. They did it for a while, about a couple of years. During the couple of years though, they also did like odd jobs, like, you know, maintenance kind of stuff in order to bring in cash quicker than the actual items that they were selling. Because I suppose when eBay, when you start, yes, you'll get that quick sale, but really, if we're talking, how do I get a quick couple hundred dollars every other day to pay for bills? Because, um, you know, eBay, sometimes the items are low dollar value. Sometimes the high dollar value takes a while to move. Um, we all know that feeling at the start. There's a transitionary period where we just want cash to come in so that we we don't feel the pinch, and that's very normal. So for me, I had the I had the I guess I wouldn't say privilege, but because I was a finance broker be before I became a full time eBay seller, I had some trail income coming in. So when you when you write loans, there's a book of clients, and every month they stay on as your client. You get paid like a, a small amount, and so if you have more clients, then that amount is about a couple thousand dollars a month. So for me, I had that coming in to kind of buffer a little bit and allow me to buy more stock. Anyways, back to this person. So as they're doing these odd jobs, maintenance jobs, they started getting traction there too. And for a while, the conversation was, I've got a van that I can use to pick up stock, but I've also got a van that I can use to pick up materials. And it felt like something of a, of a synergy. And so this person kept doing that for a while. Um, but then there came a point where neither business was growing. And so I sat down and I said, Hey, which one do you actually love more? And he went, Oh, I like, I like the maintenance and I like the, the handyman work because that brings in money. I like the eBay thing because that's something I can build and something I can do in my spare time. And in which case I went, why don't you just focus on the thing that you actually love more? It sounds like if there was no eBay, you would actually have time for your family. It sounds like without eBay, you wouldn't be thinking about saving space in your van for stock in case you happen to see stock while you're out and about doing jobs. You could just dedicate the van for jobs. You could hang around and say, hey, is there anything else I can help you with? Are there any more things I can help you dispose of? The whole, the whole van is available. It's easy to predict. It's easy to offer your services. They never thought about it that way before. They're like, but I feel like I'm giving up something I've already built. But I said, hey, neither is growing anymore. You know, you, you seem pretty kept up because you're at this point where you have to commit to one. And at which point, after some silent reflection, they said, yeah, you know what? eBay can wait. I said, that's okay. We can like what we do and we can like more than one thing that we do. Sometimes our responsibilities come first and sometimes fulfilling responsibility is the thing that gives us that little bit more joy. So if choosing between two things that we love, like, enjoy, whatever term you want to use, and one of them helps to fulfill responsibility more than the other, that one's going to take more attention, more capacity, more commitment. And it's okay to let one of those things go for a while. The good thing about eBay though, as I told them was, it's always going to be around. The ability to trade from the ground up again, you know, to, to pick some items and sell and see where you go from there. It's, it's always going to be there. It's, it's not one of those things where if you let one go, their opportunity is never going to come back. And so in that sense, 
as much as I'm pro reselling, pro eBay, pro focus, build it up, grow, 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 unlike this person, I also am not particularly handy. I can fix a couple things here and there, but I'm not going to break my body to make money. Um, if anything, I tend to get more hurt than I do than most people if I try and do handy work. So for this person, I say, look, you're built a lot better than I am. And obviously you've got another option because you're built a lot better than I am. And if you like this more, it's feeding your family quicker. It's allowing you to get a feel for this thing called self-employment. Do that. And then in the future, when you decide that you've got more capacity to do eBay, come back or not, doesn't matter. Um, at the end of the day, you do what helps your family advance. You do what helps your marriage thrive. You do what helps your kids respect you more, um, believe in you more. Yeah, so that's the story. And so how does this apply to you? When you're in conversation with other people as well, acknowledge that there are stories that influence decisions. Acknowledge that there are times when what you do as a reseller may not actually be the best thing for someone else to advance their circumstances. Um, through, the, through this journey of moving a side hustle into a full hustle capacity, I've had many conversations around what are some good side hustles people can do. I've met people who have chosen to become tuition teachers instead of do reselling. I have met people who have decided to do baking instead of do reselling. I've met people who have decided to do like extracurricular like coaching type things, like going to the local baseball club, the local football club to offer their time to coach kids. There are many things that people can like and love more than selling stuff. Selling stuff is not for everybody. And, but for those of us for whom selling stuff is for, it can feel like it's so easy to do. Why, does, why don't you guys give it a shot? You know what I mean? And so, but one of the reasons why I love building this channel on YouTube is because beyond the stuff, beyond the thing that we do, there's a mindset that can apply to all of it in terms of building up this side hustle so that it's reliable and consistent, so that it has structure, so that it's something that we can teach others as well. There's a freedom that comes from doing what we choose and making money, making time out of it beyond the jobs that we take because we need to and have to and sometimes don't like to go to. So that's the thread that I want you guys to consider sharing more than just the reselling side of things. Um, yeah, and I guess community comes from that, isn't it? Being able to relate um, on that level of wanting to better our circumstances. So yes, I have told people not to do eBay before. Um, I have told people to give eBay up before. Uh, and that's okay. It's not going to be my main thing that I tell people to do. I'm not a channel to tell people to give up eBay. If anything, this is a very pro eBay channel. Um, but yeah. It's not for everybody. That's all I want to say. It's not for everybody. But for those for whom it is for, I expect you to do better, to make progress, to improve how you do eBay every single day. On the next video, take care. Happy reselling. Bye.